One of the things I was thinking about when trying to sculpt this piece is that uh, essentially Maleficent is one of Disney's fairies in contrast with Disney's Tinkerbell or even Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather in the movie. I mean, she's pretty different I mean, from the ground up. She's gigantic in comparison to the other fairies in the movie, and she's completely evil. I mean, the reason, the whole genesis of this story is that she just didn't get invited to a party. Going from the evil queen to this, there was a lot of uh, different aspects between each character that I had to try to overcome. The evil queen's much more dramatic and kind of a full-figured person where this character is just much more architectural, a little bit less organic, much more geometric. A lot of the pose came from reviewing footage I found online and on the DVD of just her, her general gestures and uh, her, the grand sweep of her arms she makes and a lot of that really expresses the character so we want to really capture her kind of grand, uh, arrogant demeanor. I think one of the exciting challenges about working on these Disney animated villains is trying to cut the line between reality and animation, in a sense. We're taking a 2D cartoon image, and it's our job to turn that into three-dimensional life, in a sense. Working with Maleficent was, it was difficult. You've got a character whose dress is so voluminous and flowing, uh, it just, at certain scenes, it almost tends to extend, works as an extension of her. It kind of creates that silhouette that lets the viewer know that there's an element of fire that's later brought out in the dragon, as you can see in the uh, kind of the scalloping in the sleeves and the, uh, the trailing of the bottom dress. It's, it's not a real garment. There is no garment that you can actually reference in real life, so it's very much putting stuff down on paper and seeing how it comes out in the fabric. And with this piece, to catch all the layers, instead of just lining it like a regular outfit, it's done in a black and a purple layering effect. The, uh, the face is based on Eleanor Audley, who voiced the character. I, I studied her actual face a lot when trying to do this, this portrait, because so much of her character comes through in her expression, just her, her arrogance, her snide comments throughout the film, her voice just really brings the character to life so to try to try to capture that is it's a little bit overwhelming to think they spent a decade almost making this film and they studied this character so much and tried to encapsulate that in their film They're just imagining that when i was sculpting the face and just trying to put that into it is is quite an undertaking so in doing so we discovered that maybe a second head would help encapsulate all the dynamics they put into the film. So we found this other alternate expression in some of the scenes. She makes this wicked grin. Now combine that with Eleanor Audley's melodic, overwhelming voice. I mean, that pretty much sums up Maleficent. <laughs>